Salutations everyone. This is Someone Unexpected. In this video, I will be discussing a subject which is very near and dear to me. This video is about metamaterials, what they are and their technological applications. Metamaterials are made of the same particulate matter as natural materials. However, unlike natural materials, metamaterials don't derive their properties solely from their composition, but from their internal structure. Steel, for example, has a very specific and defined set of properties, but takes on a completely different set of properties when fashioned into chainmail or steel wool. Macroscale metamaterials such as chainmail and barbed wire are nothing new. But with advances in photolithography and modern manufacturing technology, we are able to engineer microscale metamaterials that take on a world of new and exciting optical properties that were never before imagined possible, like negative index of refraction, super magnification, and omnidirectional light collection, among other properties. Transparent materials such as glass are used to bend light because they have a higher index of refraction than air. What determines a material's index of refraction for a given frequency of light is its electric permittivity and magnetic permeability, which can be described by Maxwell's equations. Electric permittivity refers to the density of charge carriers and their mobility within a material, while magnetic permeability is the material's ability to be magnetized. Natural materials, such as glass and water, always bend light towards the normal because they have a positive value for electric permittivity or magnetic permeability. Only when a material has a negative value for both permittivity and permeability will it bend light past the normal. By constructing materials made of tiny metal wires bent back on themselves, engineers have created materials with negative values for both permittivity and permeability in microwave and infrared radiation. What's special about negative index refraction? First, it allows us to bend light in any direction we want, even around an object, rendering it undetectable to radar, or visible light. Second. A lens made from such material is predicted to amplify the evanescent waves, or wavelets on light, that captures subwavelength detail, which is lost in ordinary lenses due to the diffraction limit. Thus, a lens made from such material would be able to obtain detail that is finer than the wavelength used to see it, a feat that is impossible for an ordinary lens. Such a lens will vastly improve microscopy and medical diagnosis, and be a valuable asset for future science. It will also sharpen photolithography allowing us to manufacture much smaller, faster, more intricate, and more efficient electronic devices with vastly more memory. Scientists have recently discovered that cup-shaped nanoparticles, called nanocups, collect light from all directions and re-emit it in a single direction. This will have obvious implications for solar power, as it provides an efficient way to concentrate sunlight with no moving parts. Though I have only mentioned light, the same principle behind optic metamaterials can be applied to sound to create acoustic materials with analogous properties. Acoustic metamaterials that can refract sound past the normal have what is called a negative modulus. For a material to have a negative modulus, it must have both negative elasticity and a negative mass index. Metamaterials with a negative modulus can improve sonar and ultrasound imaging, or hide an object from it. They also have applications in aerospace since they can dissipate the vortex-induced vibrations produced by aircraft wings that damage the aircraft and slow it down. Imagine a plane that can slip through the air at high speeds, very efficiently, making little noise. Materials with a negative modulus could also be used in armor, for they can deflect the force of a bullet around an object, turning standard body armor into a hyper-effective super shield that provides impeccable protection where it is needed. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the content, subscribe to my channel. If you didn't, well then... Science is interesting, and if you don't agree, you can fuck off.